The grandma pie, a staple when it comes to New York pizza. And there's one spot on Long Island that claims to have invented it. Their fans don't disagree and have brought their obsession nationwide over the years. This is the grandma's pizza. Wow. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. Wow, this is great. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. That was good. Umberto's had a police escort to bring their pizzas to the airport uh, to get on a flight to Indianapolis. And Chopper 4 was overhead while a car carrying the Giants' favorite pizza from a shop in New Hyde Park headed to LaGuardia Airport. Now it has a ton of imitators, but Umberto still boasts the title of first, and some say it is still the best. I brought along Melissa McCart, who loves Grandma Pie and also used to be a food critic here on Long Island. This is an old school pizza parlor with beer and wine. It's almost as if everybody knows each other, but they don't. And they're sort of <laughs> talking across tables, That's and awesome. there's opera playing, or Frank Sinatra. That is Park Slope, 1964. Me on the left, my brother, and the guy that sold me the pizza place. That was your first pizza place in my Park Slope? Pizza, yeah. And how old were you there? I was about 21. We sent the pizzas to the giant in uh, Indianapolis. What's, was it the Super Bowl? Yeah. How many pies did you have to send to feed the giant? About 35. I heard that this is where the grandma pie was even born. You bet. Is, is that true? You bet. And whoever says no, bring it on. Umberto's opened in 1965. The restaurant first started making the grandma as early as the 70s for the staff, but they didn't start selling it until later. A grandma pie is a pizza with a thin layer of dough in a square Sicilian style pan. The bottom is crisp and the top only has shredded mozzarella, crushed tomatoes, garlic, and olive oil. It's called grandma because it's like what grandma used to make back in Naples. This is a grandma pizza we scratched about an hour ago. And we put this pip on the top. This way it doesn't get dried out. I'm fixing it up, make this very thin. I take the air out. We put the cheese on it. And now we put the sauce on it. I'm going to put a little more oil on the, on the corner. It will be nice and crispy. How long have you been coming to Umberto's here? You're regular? I've been here when this was a one window establishment with three stools. How often do you come in? Sometimes four times a week. I've been coming here 40 years. Why did you grow up in the neighborhood? No. I used to play uh, softball near here. And the only reason I played softball was because after the game, we came here. This is the kind of restaurant that has a ton of really obsessive fans. And you were like, yeah, totally. I am certainly obsessive about this. Not only the food, but the people that serve the food are really nice. You've gotten to know them a little bit? Oh, come on. They're like family. So what is your order? What do you got to get? You know, I love the grandma pizza. It's the best. <laughs> it's the grandma's pizza, though, that By the way, brings yellow. me back to this the place. The grandma's the pizza, yep. That's my favorite. Oh. This looks this, amazing. It looks so good. Plus, even eyeing this slice with like, the burnt cheese on the end. I know. Amazing. So I'm I'm psyched for these little crispy bits here. I like the fact that the mozzarella is made every day, but I also want like um, like a varying texture. So you have like the softer cheese in the middle, and then these like almost black sections. Yeah. And then you got it right. Super crispy. Nice and brown. The combination of the toppings and the olive oil is really what brings it together and also what makes it messier and crispier is that olive oil ends up being a seasoning of sorts and it shapes the texture of the pizza and how it tastes. This really feels like a party pizza. Like you order a ton of these for your family and just go at it because they're not super heavy so you can really eat a bunch of them and just kind of relax. Definitely. There aren't that many places that make the grandma slice as well as they do here and it's partly because they invented it here. Homemade sausage and broccoli rabe. I saw it and honestly, how could we not eat this? I know. It looks amazing. So you could see the fennel in the sausage and you could see the pork in there and you can definitely tell that it's homemade and that this is not an industrial product. Oh, you, should, you should go for it. I'm doing it. So good. Between the broccoli rabe and then the irregular shaped sausage, it's like, it's awesome. 
The broccoli raw just has the right amount of bitterness to it that adds to the, the flavor, which is really fun. What do you think makes Umberto's so special? Why do people like it? The owner is amazing, and he's a total <laughs> character, and I think that people like to feel like they're taken care of, and, and it's allowed them to grow. So it used to be a little pizzeria, and now it's like this vast restaurant that has multiple rooms because yeah. they have to accommodate all these regulars. If you like this episode of Cold Following, click here to watch more. The first location in North America, and it does seem like a lot of people are coming here as a destination to try out this new thing. In Japan, there's so, so many.